cheers this film before a live studio audience. Well, here we are, Frederick. Over the river and through the woods to the bar stool on the right. <laughs> ah, the beginnings of a marvelous Thanksgiving memory. Say, Norm, uh, last time I was at your house, wasn't this chair red? Yeah, yeah, I go through them pretty quickly. <laughs> Hi, Fraser. Hi, Frederick. Hello. Hey, how do you like the way I deck the place out? Well, uh, I must say it looks rather festive. Thank you. Well, you're getting plates from Melville's. You know what would look beautiful is those, uh, those gorgeous candlesticks they have. Ooh, good idea. Why don't you go up there and grab those? <laughs> well, you guys lucked out. You get to spend your Thanksgiving with the Tortellis. Hide your valuables. <laughs> hey, kids, park it over there. Carla, why'd you only bring three of your kids? Oh, well, we have this kind of Thanksgiving tradition at our home. You see, at noon, I set them out on the curb. Then the various men they've come to know as dad drive by, and who's ever left comes with me. Uh, gee, there must be some mistake here. Uh, you gotta be sitting at the kitty table. <laughs> um, no, no, uh, no mistake, Cliff. Uh, we all decided that you're the only one that we trust being an adult supervisor. <laughs> ah, well, that's another bowl of stuffing then, Sammy. I'd be proud to watch the little tanks. So, kitties, did I ever tell you about the first Thanksgiving? Yeah, it took place uh, between the ancient Egyptians and astronauts from a distant galaxy. You want to beat us then? Thank you, Frederick. God, I wish I'd had kids. <laughs> I think something's wrong with your oven, Carla. Hey, my oven was just fine until you stuffed Birdzilla in it. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Come on. Hey, you don't, we don't have to bite each other's heads off here. Maybe the only thing we get to eat this day, Sammy. <laughs> hey, you guys, this is Thanksgiving, and I still say this is going to be the greatest. Oh, who the hell do we think we're kidding? We're all a bunch of pathetic dropouts. <laughs> Scorned by our loved ones as if anybody ever loved us at all. Hey, will you lighten up, man? The only thing wrong here is we're hungry now. Who else wants to join me in these ice-cold potatoes? Hey, go green here with the uh, jello soup. No, I'm dying to try some of the hair growing on the crudite. Well, pass me my peas. I made them so I know they're okay. Was that remark uh, directed at me, Carla, by any chance? No, it was directed at your stupid turkey and your stupid stuffing and your stupid gravy. What's wrong with my gravy? Oh, nothing, except you could walk across the skin on top of it. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Julia Child. Here's your perfect peas. Oh, look, I spilled one. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Norm, I'm sorry about what I said about your gravy. All right. It's okay. And so are the carrots. <laughs> uh, anybody want some of these uh, little wee yams? <laughs> Woody, would you care to test the gravy skin? Never been witness to such a silly, soft. <laughs> Sam Malone, kiss your butt goodbye. <laughs> Smell that turkey is all ready. Let's just move along now. The cranberry sauce and stuffing, all the trimmings. Let's just move right along. Come on, move, 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 move. <laughs> Save me a drumstick. Woody, I thought we had an understanding. Now, we went fishing, took your bowling, we went to the arcade. If there's a lower middle class activity in Boston, we've done it. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Gaines. I was just trying to figure out where I knew Kelly's aunt from, and it finally came to me. Of course it came to you. You caught me making love to her on the floor of my office. I met her at the wedding. I caught you what? Nothing. <laughs> What's he? Holy cow, that's your brother's wife, and you're having an affair with her? Yes. You really didn't know? No. Then you're not blackmailing me? I didn't have to buy your silence? Well, no, I, I would never blackmail you, Mr. Gaines. I mean, I think what you're doing is disgusting and wrong, but that's between you and Satan. <laughs> I got something to tell you. I, I think that we can't be friends anymore. I don't respect you. Well, I'll just have to live with your scorn and contempt, Woody. Okay, Mr. Gaines, I just want you to know I'd never blackmail you. I'd much rather do this. Hey, everybody, I got something to tell you. Uh, How about the wishbone? <laughs> got you. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun night. It's ready for some delicious hot apple cider. Can I have mine with ice? It's 80 degrees outside. Where's your Christmas spirit, Naomi? It melted. <laughs> There's another present for you there, Naomi. Oh. Isn't that right, Santa? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> There you go, kids. There you are. Oh, what do you say, Naomi? Thank you, Santa. Uh, and what do you say, Santa? Yeah, Mrs. Claus is going to pay for this. Come here. <laughs> look, look, how much longer do we have to do this? Oh, the children are loving it. Yo, can I at least take this beard off? <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't want to spoil their illusions. Don't you think the fact that Santa's here in mid-May sweating bullets is making him a little suspicious already? Uh, yes, Santa, what a great idea. Why don't you lead us all in some Christmas carols? Uh, maybe somebody else ought to do that. Uh, Santa's got a little summer cold going here. Oh, well, uh, David is the musician of the family. Well. Let it snow in E flat. <laughs> singing their carols, we passed out the present. Now, can we put out the stupid fire and, and get the Millers out of here, please? Oh, but Sam, we haven't roasted the chestnuts oh, yet. Oh, guess again, sweetheart. <laughs> Give me your ready. Santa, what can I get you? Finally, someone wants to get me something. <laughs> I'm so happy this holiday season is over with. The whining, the crying, the screaming, the temper tantrums. Okay, it wasn't your traditional Santa Claus. Right over there. You get you some beers, I'll be right with you. What's with all the bowls full of jelly? Just having a little get together after work, kind of a class reunion, you know? Wow, you guys all went to the same school? Santa school. It covered all the basics. The hair, the makeup, how to talk the kids into asking for the big ticket items. <laughs> oh. oh, look who's here, huh? Oh, no, what if a little kid walks in here? Sweetheart, it's almost midnight, Christmas Eve. What a time to find out. <laughs> well, if that was a miracle. Snowball, you've had too much snobs. No, no, I'm stone sober. It's, I mean, I know that's just some fat old guy with car trouble, but for half a second there, I actually believed in Christmas. And that, that hasn't happened to me since I was born. <laughs> Come on, let's, uh, let's sing some Christmas carols and roast some chestnuts and all that treacle, you know. Life is on again. It's the very best part. Turn it up, Sam. I'm glad I can finally say this to you without having my head bitten off. Merry Christmas, Fraser. It is, isn't it? <laughs> you have everything that matters. We're together, our loved ones are safe and happy. 
let's just into our newsroom. Boston Airport has been temporarily closed due to the presence of a berserk man on runway six, chasing an Orlando-bound plane and throwing what appears to be cans of Chinese food. <laughs> Stay tuned for further details. Oh, Cliffy, Cliff, Cliff. <laughs> God bless us, everyone.